Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of adnexal dermoid cyst or a case of mature cystic teratoma. A 16-year-old female patient came with palpable lower abdominal lump. The lump extends up to the umbilical region. It was diagnosed as a highly suspicious malignant lesion from different center and was referred to us by the clinician for urets and color scoring. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal and transverse sections of the uterus. It looks quite normal. You can see the endometrial echoes. There's the urinary bladder which also looks quite normal. But when we jumped into the left adnexal region, you can see a large mass. It contains cystic and solid parts. These solid parts are quite different from other solid parts we see in a malignant lesion. They are round, echogenic, and sound attenuating. You see the proximal part from the transducer surface looks brighter than the distal part. It means it's causing sound attenuation, which is a common feature of fatty tissue. So this multiple round to oval diffusely echogenic sound attenuating masses are the fat balls which are floating within the cyst cavity forming the floating ball sign, mid ball sign, truffle sign, boba sign or even it is called the Pokemon ball sign. Now if you look at the fluid area you see the posterior acoustic enhancement but within the aniquic part you can see numerous thin echogenic lines and dots. These are the hair follicles floating within the fluid forming the dot dash pattern indicating the dermoid mesh. Here you also can see a solid part containing a cystic area within. This is actually the ovarian stoma containing small follicles indicating the lesion getting originated from the left ovary. The lesion was quite larger and it was going towards the right side of the patient due to its size extending below the umbilical region. So this type of large lesion is always in risk of torsion. If you look carefully, sometimes you may see echogenic components within this cystic area casting pastry acoustic shadow. These are the calcified structures, maybe calcified bony components or commonly we see the dental structures like teeth. Overall, the lesion is uniloquilar. The inner margin is smooth with no definite papillary projection. Here's another picture with the color Doppler and you can see there is no flow within this echogenic intracystic masses. You may get some vascularity within the ovarian stroma which is quite normal ovarian tissue. Here's the picture you can see the large cystic lesion with internal dot dash pattern or echogenic lines and dots due to the hair. And you can see the intracystic echogenic large mass making the floating ball sign. Here you also can see those fat balls. And this is the ovarian stromal tissue. And if you look here, you can see the calcified area casting posterior acoustic shadow indicating the dental components or any other calcified structures. The longest diameter of the lesion is more than 11 cm. This is a typical dermoid cyst. If you see the lesion is less than 10 cm, it would be recognized as Urer's ultrasound score 2. But these typical lesions with more than 10 cm diameter are given the Urer's score 3. Here's a picture of the ovarian tissue. Here I have tried to take four pictures containing the ecogenic fat balls within the dermoid. Another picture containing the fat balls. Here you also can see these fat balls. Another one. Here's the color Doppler picture. You can't see any flow within the lesion, so we are giving it a color score of 1. If you can see mild flow, then we would go with the score 2. If moderate, score 3. And if you see gross vascularity, we would go with the color score 4. If you see a dermoid with a color score 4, it may not be the mature cystic teratoma, rather it might be the immature teratoma. As we have found some balls within, we took a 3D ultrasound. 
make sure this is not a 3D transducer. It's a regular convex transducer and we move the probe manually to take a 3D image. So the picture quality may not be as good as you get from a 3D transducer. But you can see some ball-like structures within. Let's magnify the image. Now here you can see some balls within, which are the Pokemon balls. And these areas might be the calcified structures like teeth. So in summary, a well-defined thin-walled unilocular cystic lesion of around 11 cm by 9 cm size, casting posterior enhancement with a smooth inner margin, no papillary projection or septation, is noted arising from the left adnexa and extending below the umbilical region more towards the right. Multiple round and oval, diffusely echogenic sound attenuating masses are seen floating within the cyst cavity, forming the floating ball sign, mid ball sign, truffle sign, boba sign, or Pokemon ball sign, whatever you say. Numerous thin echogenic lines and dots are seen within the fluid content, forming the dot dash pattern, indicating the dermoid mesh. These are the hair particles. Echogenic components casting acoustic shadows are also noted within the lesion, indicating dental or calcified components. The left ovary could not be separately visualized, rather the ovarian stoma containing some small follicles is seen within the cystic lesion. Color Doppler shows no flow within the echogenic intracystic masses. There was no ascites or lymphadenopathy. So this feature is concluded as a case of ovarian machocystic teratoma or dermoid cyst. Now the take-home message. The adnexal cyst with internal echogenic components showing sound attenuation or casting acoustic shadows is nothing but a dermoid. Don't forget to check the vascularity and ascites to exclude the malignant transformation. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to follow us on other social platforms. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.